Hi, thanks for taking the time to check this video out. I'm just going to quickly run through the kit to show you exactly what's included in the pack. As you can see from the case, it's a nice, small, hand-sized, neat and discreet pack, easily fit into your pocket or bag. And everything that you see here is what comes inside of the latest 2016 updated packs. You've basically got one battery with four different attachments and then all of these accessories. Everything you should ever want for all of your vaping needs. There will also be an instruction manual which is coming soon, but for now we're just going to have to stick to these videos. Right, let me run through all the accessories before going into a bit more detail on the main components. The lanyard does actually come ready attached to the pouch, but that's for wearing around your neck for your hands-free option. You've got a, I'm not sure if you can see that here, there's a glass gauze vape screen. That's, which is basically to put inside the herb chamber on top of the coil if you don't want your herbs touching the heating element. Which is a new addition. You've got a rubber desk stand to keep your pen upright, save any spillages or breakages. You've got a 510 adapter which will make all of these atomizers compatible to, with any other battery mods that you may already have or for future upgrades. You've got a hygiene cap which uh, you can put on whichever atomizer you're choosing to use at the time. You've got a dabbing tool or a poker. You've got a cleaning brush. Uh, you've got a spare coil for the glass atomizer and your USB charger. The USB charger, like all of the atomizers, screws straight into the top of the battery here. The battery is 650 milliamps and comes fully charged so it's ready to use straight out of the box. The shisha cartomizer is for any e-juice or e-liquid that you prefer. The glass atomizer has the latest dual quartz rod coils in there. The discrete atomizer now has the latest coilless ceramic donut technology. And the herb chamber, which is for all of your favorite herbs and flowers. I'm going to start off by talking about the battery and its functions because when you first get your vape out of the pack if you press the button it's not going to light up and you're not going to get any heat in any of your atomizers. This is not because the battery is broken, it's because the battery is switched off. To turn the battery on and off all you have to do is press the button five times quickly. One, two, three, four, five. And as you see now when you press the button it lights up showing you there's power and that it's ready to use. Now when you press the button it will shine white when it's 100% charged. Uh, it will then change to blue, a blue colour when it's down to around 50% and then it will eventually turn red when it's time to charge. You shouldn't have to charge these batteries for a while, you should get about 600 presses out of a full battery. Um, but when you do need to charge it, it's very simple. Just take your USB charger and screw the battery into it like so. Always give these a full charge of four hours and wait till the red light changes to green. And then just unscrew, unplug your USB connector and then your battery is ready for use. Um, another feature on here is, is a bit of a safety feature. But if you press the button, the power button down, it will only allow you to press it for a maximum of 10 seconds. So there's an automatic cutoff point, at which point it will start flashing and it will drain, the power will turn off. You can't press it again while it's flashing, so you have to wait till it stops, but then it's ready to go again. And coming up to 10 seconds automatically switch off. Again, it's a safety feature to stop the battery overheating, to stop you burning your atomizers and coils out. Uh, and another 
another safety precaution I'd always take as well. Uh, if you press the button five times to switch it off when you finish using it, so it's not lighting up when you're pressing the button, and that will save you pressing it in your pocket or in your bag or wherever. Uh, but that is the battery and should be pretty much everything you need to know about that. The first attachment I'm going to show you is the glass atomizer, which is my personal favourite because you can see exactly what's going on inside. And as it's the one I tend to use the most, this is the one that comes screwed already to the battery when you get your pack. So that is your dab pen basically. The dabs on the go, uh, ideally meant for concentrates, although you can use uh, solids in here as well. Now, something I've added to it recently is the Just Vape It glass protector band, uh, because obviously you can't have your rubber desk stand around with you at all times. So if you are out and about and trying to keep your pen upright to save you from any spillages, and you do take a fall, obviously it's uh, going to save you any unwanted breakages there. So let's show you how you get into it first. Um, very easy to use. You just basically pull the glass away from the bottom part of the atomizer. So you pull the glass off the rubber seal, like so, and then that will reveal the ceramic loading pot, which has got the coils in. And as you can see in there, it's a double coil, which is wrapped around quartz crystal rods. Now all of these, uh, all of these coils are interchangeable so you can get spare coils there is actually a spare coil included in the pack as well um, I'll also have a choice of coils single coil double coils quartz rods ceramic rods and also the ceramic donuts eventually but for now I've got the latest quartz rod crystal uh, double coils in there so then just press the button as you'll see Then all you have to do is basically take your concentrate, your oil, your wax, put it in the top of the ceramic chamber, maybe give it a bit of a heat and give it a chance to melt down into the bottom trough. But then you just press the button and it will just keep skimming the oil that's sat in the bottom there. And it's definitely the most efficient way of uh, vaping. So put your stuff in the top, put the glass straight back on and off you go you'll actually see the, see the smoke start pluming out the top even before you put it to your mouth. So that's your dab pen with the glass atomizer. Now moving on to the herb chamber which is an atomizer specifically designed for herbs and flowers. You can also use solids in this one quite easily. Um, I'll just show you how it works. Again, like all the atomizers, are just screw directly straight onto the battery. And that is your dry herb vape pen. So to use it, you just literally unscrew the top of the atomizer off, which exposes the ceramic pot with a heating coil at the bottom. As you can see there. And then all you have to do is literally just put your dried herbs into the top and then screw the lid straight back on. I would recommend that you don't try and overpack it. Air, flow, air does need to flow through the unit to get a good vape. Um, and also I'd probably just say fill it up to the white line. Uh, again, not, don't pack it too tightly and then just screw it back together. Another bit of advice I would give with this one, because uh, it does take a few seconds for the heating chamber to get to temperature before it vapes. So if you press the button and suck on it straight away, you're not going to get a hit. But if you press the button, wait for a few seconds, and then put it to your mouth, you'll get a decent hit off that. Um, and don't forget as well, there is also the glass gauze vape screen. So if you don't want your flowers touching the heating element for all you vaping purists out there, you can just put, pop the bit of glass in before you put your herbs in. Me personally, I think you get a much better hit without the glass, uh, but each to their own. The next
next piece I want to show you is the discrete atomizer. Now I call this one discrete because when it's attached to the battery it just looks like any old average e-cigarette. Very easy to use as you can see nice size as well. You just literally unscrew the top, open the ceramic loading pot and if you see in there there's no exposed coil this is the latest ceramic donut technology where the heating elements actually encased into the ceramics so all you have to do you have to put your oil your wax now this one is specifically designed for oil and wax and concentrates uh, because there's no exposed coil and because of the temperatures involved so you just basically put your concentrates directly into the pot screw the top straight back on and it's ready to go. Now with this one again, it will take a few seconds for it to heat up and you do have to suck on this a bit harder and work a bit harder to get the size clouds from the other ones, but that's only because there's no exposed coil and because of the, uh, the lower temperatures. But that is again another dab pen, but a more discreet one. And finally, we end with the shisha cartomizer, which is for any e-liquids or e-juices that you prefer, whether you have them with nicotine in or without, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but it's exactly the same principle. You just unscrew the bottom section of this atomizer, the metal part to remove the heating element and expose the loading container. As you see in there, there's a tube right in the center do not get any of your liquid in the center tube not unless you fancy drinking it anyway uh, if you do don't worry you can wash it out under a tap very easily uh, but be very careful when you're loading your juice in here not to get it in the center just squeeze it around the sides and you'll see how full it's getting from the windows on the side uh, i'd recommend you probably only fill it halfway up as well if you overfill it you do risk getting leakages uh, so once you've filled that up with your favourite juice, just screw the heating element and the bottom metal section back in and then attach it to your battery if it's not already attached. And there you have your pocket vape pen. With this one, I would press the button and it takes probably about five or ten initial puffs if it's the first use just to get the liquid into the cotton wick and up to the heating element. It may crackle and pop a little as well, it's nothing to be worried about. Uh, but that is your e-pen with the shisha cartomizer. So there you have it. The ultimate all-in-one vape kit. One battery, four attachments, and all these accessories crammed into a pocket sized pack. Everything you could ever want or need to explore the world of vaping. And uh, not forgetting the lanyard as well. There's lots of new products and developments in the pipeline too, so please follow us on social media if you want to keep yourself updated. Just search P-O-T-P-A-X there's only one pot packs and you'll find us on all the major platforms. Thanks again for taking the time to check this video out and thanks again for choosing pot packs. Just vape it.